praise the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah to Jesus. You're listening to Chronicles Christian Radio from the Caribbean to the world. Jesus Christ is Lord. We exalt the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Majesty, worship His majesty unto Jesus be all glory, power, and praise. Kingdom authority flows from his throne unto his own, his hands have Hallelujah, blessed be the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. A pleasant morning to you. This is the day that the Lord has made and indeed we will rejoice and be glad in it. Today is Thursday, it's the 14th of September in the year for Lord Jesus Christ 2023. Hallelujah, and we rise up for another day. Praises be unto Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, we just want to thank you. Good morning. My name is Vanola Glasgow, and this is a program Rise Up with Vanola on Chronicles Christian Radio, www.ccradio.co. St. Mark chapter 1 and verse 35 says, And in the morning, rising up a great while before day, he went out and departed into a solitary place, and there prayed. And so this was Jesus Christ, who was a he here, who rose up and he went out before the day began, before the sun was up. He went out to pray. And so we rise up in the name of Jesus. We rise up for this brand new day to give the Lord Jesus Christ all the glory and all the praise that he deserves. Jesus Christ is the only way to the Father. He's the only way to get to heaven. And it's because of Jesus Christ why we are alive. It's because of Jesus' sacrifice why we can glory and boast in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. At this time, let's bow our head in a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for another day. We thank you, God, for allowing us to rise up, to seek your face, O oh God, to rise up, to spend time before your throne. Heavenly Father, we follow the patterns that are outlined in the Word of God, the Holy Bible. And so, Lord God, we thank you, Jesus, for, for leaving that legacy for us to follow. Lord, we ask your blessing upon our listeners today, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, we pray, O oh God, that you will strengthen us, O oh God, that you will lead us and that you will guide us. Give us understanding, give us vision, give us knowledge, give us wisdom, O oh Father God, as we go forth into this new day. Lord, we ask, O oh God, that you will forgive us of our sins, Father God, for those who have trespassed against us or for those who we have trespassed against. We ask, O oh God, that you will forgive us, O oh God, and forgive Forgive those, O oh Father God, who have sinned against you, don't even know, Father God. Lord, we pray, O oh Father God, that we all would come to the saving grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And for those who have not accepted him in their lives, Father, that they would accept him before it is too late. Lord Jesus, we just want to say thank you. Thank you for life. Thank you for health. Thank you for strength. Thank you for work. Thank you for family and friends and loved ones near and far. Thank you for beautiful islands of the seas, dear God. Lord, we ask that you continue to cover us all under your blood. As we kneel before you, God, Lord, we pray that you will direct our steps, direct our path. We trust in you, Jesus. Take all the honor, take all the glory, and take all the praise. We ask all this in Jesus' holy and precious name. With thanksgiving, amen. Hallelujah. As we worship His Majesty this morning, we will listen to this song by Ron Canoli back from the top once again. 
majesty worship his majesty unto jesus be all glory honor and praise this is rise up with Fanola as we rise up in the name of jesus rise up in prayer rise up in the word of god rise up in jesus name Majesty, worship His Majesty unto Jesus be all glory, power, and praise. Kingdom authority flows from his throne unto his own, his anthem Tonight, Lord Jesus, we set aside the balance of this evening to focus upon your kingship and your lordship. Yes, Lord, we acknowledge you as the sacrifice, the great sacrificial lamb. We thank you, Lord God, for the blood that you shed for us. We thank you, O oh Lord God, for the great mercies and blessings that you, that you showered upon our lives. But tonight, Lord, we want to see you not as a lamb, but we want to worship you as that lion of Judah, the king above all kings. Thank you. Thank you for your presence. We bow before you. We acknowledge you. We honor you as king of kings and lord of lords. So Jesus who died is now glorified. Hallelujah. And he is king of all kings. Blessed be the name of Jesus. He is no longer dead. He is alive. He is alive and he is in heaven. And he is waiting on that time when the father would say, come, go to earth and get my children. The next song is by Jabez and it's called Glory. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Father, we praise you. We give you glory, God. We worship you.
the presence of the Lord is rich in this place. There's no presence like the presence of Jesus. And we say all glory unto him. You're listening to Rise Up with Fanola as we rise up for another day. And we rise up in the word of God. Rise up in prayer. Rise up in worship. Rise up in faith. Most of all, rise up in the name of Jesus. For his name is above all name. His name is powerful in him. We live, in Him we move, in Him we have our being. Thank you for tuning in and thank you for listening. I pray that you are encouraged and you are blessed in the name of Jesus. And God have allowed you to listen, to hear this program because He wants to speak to you and to me also. And today we are going to go into the Word of God. We will be listening to the book of Philippians chapter 2. Philippians chapter 2 and we get into this word at this time. Philippians 2 If there be therefore any consolation in Christ, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any bowels and mercies, fulfill ye my joy that ye be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. Let nothing be done through strife or vain glory, but in lowliness of mind let each esteem other better than themselves. Look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who, being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God but made himself of no reputation, and took upon him the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of men. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself, and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of things in heaven, and things in earth, and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God which worketh in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. Do all things without murmurings and disputings, that ye may be blameless and harmless, the sons of God, without rebuke, in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation, among whom ye shine as lights in the world. Holding forth the word of life, that I may rejoice in the day of Christ, that I have not run in vain, neither labored in vain. Yea, and if I be offered upon the sacrifice and service of your faith, I joy and rejoice with you all. For the same cause also do ye joy and rejoice with me. But I trust in the Lord Jesus to send Timotheus shortly unto you, that I also may be of good comfort when I know your state. For I have no man like-minded who will naturally care for your state. For all seek their own, not the things which are Jesus Christ's. But ye know the proof of him, that as a son with the Father, he hath served with me in the gospel. Him therefore I hope to send presently, so soon as I shall see how it will go with me. But I trust in the Lord that I also myself shall come shortly. Yet I supposed it necessary to send to you Epaphroditus, my brother and companion in labor and fellow soldier, but your messenger, and he that ministered to my wants. For he longed after you all, and was full of heaviness, because that ye had heard that he had been sick. For indeed he was sick, nigh unto death, but God had mercy on him. And not on him only, but on me also, lest I should have sorrow upon sorrow. I sent him therefore the more carefully, that when ye see him again ye may rejoice, and that I may be the less sorrowful. Receive him therefore in the Lord with all gladness, 
and hold such in reputation, because for the work of Christ he was nigh unto death, not regarding his life, to supply your lack of service toward me. And there we have it from Philippians chapter 2. And the Apostle Paul, he was here speaking to the believers of Jesus Christ in Philippi, or Philippi. And I just want to highlight a few verses. In verse 1 and 2, it says, If there be therefore any consolation in Christ, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any bowels of mercies, fulfill ye my joy that ye be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. So we are to be in one accord and of one mind. And this is all about Jesus Christ. And Jesus, he is the center of it all. And he expounded and talks about Jesus, Jesus Christ, or as you would say, Christ Jesus. Verse 5 says, he says, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. And Jesus Christ, he is the only son of God. In the beginning, when God created the earth, when God said, let us make man, Jesus Christ was there. And so they created man on this earth. They formed man from the dust of the earth. And the Bible says that God breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And so God created us God created the heaven and the earth God created human beings and you see because Adam sinned God had to have a second Adam to come into the earth and that second Adam was Jesus Christ and so Jesus he who was before the earth was created he who is king before the earth was created he was born into this earth as a human being so Jesus Christ he became human and he knew what it's like to be human but he was also God and so he grew up he lived on this earth he did the works of Jesus he did his works he did the works of the father that the father instructed him to do he lived and he died his ministry lasted for three years and then he he died and he was buried and he rose from the dead and he ascended into heaven and we can read of his ascension in the book of Acts chapter 1 and chapter 2 where he told his disciples that he was sent a comforter and so it has been 2023 years since Jesus Christ went back into heaven or as it were went back into glory and so the Apostle Paul to the, the believers of Jesus Christ at Philippi and also to us believers of Jesus Christ today he is encouraging us to let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus so we are following or living our lives in pattern to the lives of the life of Jesus Christ and verse 6 says who being in the form of God so he was in the form of God he was God and he thought it not robbery to be equal with God and so he made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men verse 8 says and being found in fashion as a man so now he was as man not necessarily being seen as God but he he humbled himself he became so low he humbled himself and so it encourages us also as followers of Jesus to humble ourselves and that Jesus Christ became obedient unto the death of the cross he became obedient unto death and not just death, but the death of the cross, which is a, a, a death of humiliation. Verse 9 says, Wherefore God also had highly exalted him. So because of, of what he, he went, he humbled himself to go through. Because of what he humbled himself to go through, God then exalted him highly. And God gave him a name which is above every name 
And so that's why the name of Jesus is so powerful. Verse 10 and 11 says that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. And uh, every knee concerning things in heaven, things in earth, and things under the earth. And this is three different locations we're talking about here. Of things in heaven, things in earth, and things under the earth. They would bow to the name of Jesus. Principalities, dominions name it they would bow to the name of Jesus human beings demons they would bow to the name of Jesus because the name of Jesus is a highly exalted name and no one else is worthy more than Jesus Christ verse 11 says and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the father and so jesus christ his sacrifice on the cross he didn't just sacrifice for himself alone but he sacrificed for the whole earth for the whole world god loves us all god loves you and that's why he sent jesus christ to save you from your sins why because all of us all human beings we were born in sin it is something that we naturally inherit but Jesus Christ came. He became the second Adam to redeem us, to buy us back to God. So that God can have that relationship that he initially intended for us to have living in the earth. And so today as we go forward, let us meditate upon the word of God. Let us think on the things that we heard today. Let us stick with Jesus Christ. Let us uh, humble ourselves. Let us seek, seek to be in his presence always. Seek to worship him. Seek to be of the mind of Christ. Seek to follow after his teachings. And we see Paul, he talks about Timothy. And Timothy was one of the, the young members, who, the young brothers and the young believers in Jesus Christ who followed in Paul's footstep and who followed the teachings of Paul and who served also in the ministry of Jesus Christ. In fact, there is a book named the First and Second Timothy that admonishes the youths in Jesus Christ. And you're not too young to serve Jesus. You're not too young to live for Jesus. And in fact, I remember that as a child, I accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as my Savior when I was seven years old. And I was baptized and followed the Lord in the breaking of bread and in the teachings and in prayers and learning more about Jesus. And so let us spend time to know about Jesus, to learn about him, to develop our relationship and to grow in Jesus. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, as we worship and magnify the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. He's the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. He's the one who will prevail. He's the one who is exalted. His name is above all names. His name is majesty. His name is excellent. His name is holy. His name is Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we magnify you. Lord, we exalt you. Hallelujah. We'll take a bit of this song and I'll be right back as we would end our program today in prayer. Hallelujah. Anointed. I see brokenness be restored.
is rich hey, in this place. In this rich anointing, I see families being restored. Hey, is rich in this place there is a name that's above every name and this name is very powerful his name is Jesus 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 the Savior of the whole earth hallelujah hallelujah you're listening to rise up with Vanola and it's time for us to pray so at this time we bow our heads in prayer Heavenly Father we come before you we come before your throne, O oh God, your throne of mercy, your throne of grace, your throne where we can find strength, your throne where we find comfort and compassion and all that we require, O oh God. Lord, we thank you for life. We thank you for health. We thank you for strength. We thank you for food. We thank you for clothing. We thank you for shelter, O oh God. We thank you, God, that we can keep our eyes on you, Jesus. Lord, we we honor you. We magnify your holy and precious name, O oh God. Lord, we magnify you, Jesus, because there is none like unto you. Your name is above every name. At your name, demons tremble. At your name, every knee will bow, whether in heaven, whether in the earth, or whether under the earth. Lord Jesus, we confess this day that you are Lord. We confess that you are our Savior. We confess, O oh God, that that light comes when your name is mentioned we confess oh god that demons scatter when your name is mentioned we confess oh god that diseases run and diseases flee when your name is mentioned we thank you jesus that your name is above every name we thank you god for the power in your name we thank you jesus for your work on the cross of calvary that gives us access to god and Father God, we pray for our friends and our family who have not known you, Jesus, as yet. We pray, O oh God, that they would come to the saving knowledge of you, O oh Jesus. Lord, we just want to praise your name. We just want to exalt you, O oh God. We just want to thank you, O oh God, for all that you've done for us and for all that you're doing for us, O oh God. Lord, take all the glory. Take all the honor. Take all the praise. We magnify you. We honor you, Jesus, the Lamb of God. Jesus, the King of Kings, Jesus, 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 when no other name that we can call, God, we can call your name, Jesus, Jesus, name above all names, take all the honor, take all the glory, take all our worship, Lord, we bow ourselves before you this hour, God, as we rise up early in the morning, to spend time before your, before your throne. Lord, receive our worship, God. Deliver us from all evil, O God, and let your presence go before us today, O God. Let your presence abide with us, Heavenly Father. Lord, as we worship you, God, as we praise you, O God, we magnify you. We glorify you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to your name. Hallelujah to your majesty. Hallelujah. 
We exalt you, Jesus. And help us all to have a wonderful day today in you, God. And whatsoever may be that is set for us today in the traps of the devil, we end this it by the blood of Jesus. And we pray, O oh God, that as we go forth into this new day, Lord God, that your mind, that your mind, O oh God, would be in us. That mind of Christ would be a part of our minds, O oh God, that we submit our lives wholly and solely to you, Jesus. We worship you and exalt you. We cast down every high thing, O oh God, that exalted itself in our lives against you, Jesus. And so, Lord, we humble ourselves and seek, O oh God, to do your will in the earth today. Take all the honor. Take all the glory. Be pleased with our lives, God. In Jesus' name, I pray thanksgiving. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. I pray that you are encouraged and that you are blessed by today's, today's program. And I pray that you will join me again in the will of the Lord for another program at 5 a.m. When we rise up in the name of Jesus, we rise up to give Jesus Christ all the glory and all the honor that he alone deserves. My name is Vanola Glasgow. Thank you for listening. Thank you for tuning in. Be blessed and be encouraged by the ministry of this radio station. You can listen to us on our website at www.ccradio.co. Until next time, may God bless you. Be encouraged by today's program, today's meditations, as you would hear the word of God, and as you would hear the uh, devotions coming up at about 6 o'clock, and uh, all the other songs of, of glory and ministry unto the name of Jesus. We lift up Jesus Christ, our soon coming King. Are you ready for the rapture of the church? The rapture of the church, it is pending. Jesus Christ is coming. Hold fast to the promises of Jesus. Don't slacken up. Don't slacken up. Hold fast to Jesus every day. Do his will. Do his work. Keep the faith and be encouraged in Jesus' name. May God bless you and stay sweet in Jesus. Keep trusting in Jesus. Do have yourself a pleasant day today. In Jesus' name, God bless you. In this rich anointing, I see blind receiving the sight. In this rich anointing, I feel your hand. Christ, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to Jesus. You're listening to Chronicles Christian Radio from the Caribbean to the world. Jesus Christ is Lord.